Hi everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity Experts. Today, we're diving into the OSI Reference Model, a fundamental concept in networking that explains how different systems communicate over a network. Stick around, and by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of its seven layers and why it's so important. What is the OSI model? The OSI model, or Open Systems Interconnection Model, is a conceptual framework that standardizes the functions of a networking or telecommunication system into seven layers. Think of it as a roadmap that ensures all devices speak the same language when they communicate. Why is it important? Standardizes communication. Troubleshooting made easier. Helps with protocol design. Now, let's break it down layer by layer. A great way to remember the layers is, all people seem to need data processing. Each layer has a specific role in ensuring data moves efficiently and correctly between systems. Let's briefly overview them. Seventh layer. Application, user interaction, e.g., email, web browsers. Sixth layer. Presentation, data translation, encryption, compression. Fifth layer. Session, manages connections, start, maintain, terminate. Fourth layer. Transport, ensures data reliability, TCP, UDP. Third layer. Network determines data paths, IP addresses, routing. Second layer. Data link, ensures error-free transfer between two nodes. First layer. Physical, transmits raw data bits over physical media. Layer 7. Application. This is where users interact with software. For example, when you send an email or browse a website, you're working at the application layer. Layer 6 presentation. This layer ensures that data is in the right format. For instance, converting a JPEG image into something a browser can render. Layer 5. Session. The session layer keeps track of the conversations. It establishes, manages, and ends connections. Think of it as a meeting organizer. Layer 4. Transport. This is all about reliability. Protocols like TCP ensure data arrives intact, while UDP is faster but less reliable ideal for streaming. Layer 3. Network. Here, the focus is on routing and addressing. Routers operate at this layer, directing packets to their destinations. Layer 2. Data link. Data is broken into frames here, and errors are detected and corrected. Devices like switches work at this layer. Layer 1. Physical layer. Finally, the physical layer handles the hardware, cables, Wi-Fi signals, and more. It's where the data journey starts and ends. Real-world application. Now, how does this help us in the real world? Let's look at an example. Browsing a web page. This layered approach allows us to pinpoint and solve problems efficiently. For instance, if your browser isn't loading a page, you can check each layer step by step, from cables to the browser settings. Let's quickly recap. The OSI model has seven layers each with a unique role. It's essential for understanding how data flows in a network and troubleshooting issues. Next time you send an email or watch a video online, you'll know exactly what's happening behind the scenes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel Cybersecurity Experts